My name's Jamie. I'm the curator here at the Ross County Historical Society. Um, we're here at the Heritage Center, um, and this is our big quilt exhibit. We want to invite you to come see. This is uh, the first time that many of these quilts have been on exhibit. Uh, it's a big collection. Uh, there's over 60 quilts in, in the exhibit. Um, there's also a needlework um, exhibit as part of this um, big, big exhibit. <laughs> um, 200 years of quilts and needlework. We have uh, quilts as, er as modern as 1996 for the bicentennial of Chillicothe. And we have a sampler, we have a couple of old samplers from 1796, and there's one actually earlier. So that's our two, two, uh, two bookends of, of the dates. Uh, this room that we're standing in, in front of this fantastic quilt, uh, is all pieced and applique quilts. We have another room that uh, we like to refer to as the crazies in the parlor because they're all crazy quilts and they are really interesting, really uh, different. And then uh, we have needlework and uh, samplers, school uh, schoolgirl samplers from the 19th century mostly. And um, this exhibit will be up until uh, Saturday after Thanksgiving. That's the 27th of November. And um, we just hope you'll come down and see it. We, uh, like I say, this is the first time these have all been together and it may not be for a while that you'll ever see them again. And you know, this many of them. So I think, they were made to be used. Now, people ask, well, how, what kind of bed does a, a 10 foot by 10 foot quilt get put on? It must have been a big bed, that's all I can say. But these, especially in this room, were made uh, for beds to be used. Now, some of them are more what we call utilitarian quilts, and they're just, you know, they're not that beautiful. They're just kind of warm, um, but uh, not and then the the quilts that you'll find the crazy quilts those are different those were not made for beds those were made to uh, as expressions of artistic expression um, and they were meant to be draped on furniture put on tabletops and pianos and things like that to, to show off to your friends so so when people come in for the exhibit is this a design to be a self-guided tour or can people actually get a escorted tour Tour. Um, it's more or less designed to be self-guided. We have a handout that will have number, you know, all the quilts are uh, numbered and a little description of the pattern and that sort of thing. But then they can walk around and look at each one and the, the handout has a little more information. Um, you can, when you come in, it's part of a, um, a regular tour. I mean, you can come in just for the quilts or you can come in and see the quilts as part of the regular tour. And in that case, you would have, um, you would have a guided tour for the rest of the tour. 